Hey, what's happening guys? What you see flashing here in front of you is of course my simple 555 timer. Absolutely nothing special about it. But what we're going to do today is have a little 555 timer fun. We're going to mess around with it and see what we can make it do. Because what you have here is a very hard on off, on off, on off, on off. It's a square wave. Well, we can mess around with it a little bit and have a little bit of fun, right? I think we can. So let's pull that out. And let's just, just for S and G's, we'll just extend our output out to here so we have some room to work with it. Okay. So if we plug back in our LED, we're right back where we were. We just moved it to a different place. But what if we take a diode and stick it there and another LED and stick it here? Well, what we've got now is just a dual blinking LED. Basically, this is what we call a 555 hysteretic oscillator. What we're doing is we're taking advantage of the fact that pin 3 of the 555 timer can not only uh, source some current, but it can also sync some current. So since we're starting from VCC here, when the 555 goes low, we're syncing the current from this LED. When it goes high, we're sourcing it to this LED. The diode simply prevents any back flush of current. All right, are you still with me? Okay, well let's change it just a little bit more. What if we now add in another capacitor? What will happen then? Let me uh, move my camera. All right, I swapped out that jumper wire for just a little 10K resistor to kind of limit the current here. And you can see we still have our hard on, hard off. <laughs> he said hard on. But now what do we have? Well now we have more of a soft on and off. Let's see if we can adjust that a little bit. <laughs> kind of hard to find just the right spot where they're pretty much even, right? And these LEDs are a bit of a bear to get to show up right in the camera. There we go. You want to take a look on, on the scope? Well, of course you do. That's all the fun, right? All right, let's do it. Everything is hooked up. And my pen just fell apart. Don't you hate it when that happens? Right there is what you call a quality kugelschreiber. For those of you of the Teutonic persuasion. Alright, so here is um, our output of the 555 timer, the direct output on channel 1 of the scope. And then over here we have our modified output, out, output, <laughs> output on channel 2. And you can see our LEDs are fading up. So let's take a look at the scope and see what there is to see. I think you'll find this somewhat interesting. I know I do. We can get everything in there. There we go. So there's channel one, which is our standard uh, square wave out of the 555 timer. And there's channel two, which we've modified with the capacitor and the diode and you can kinda see that 555 charging pattern there. Let's let the screen redraw. There you go. You can see as the square wave is high 
the capacitor charges and as the square wave drops off the capacitor discharges and when we come down and we look at our circuit we get the fading LEDs. I don't know about you guys but I think that's a pretty neat use of the 555 timer and it take it, it it carries on with things that we've talked about in previous videos I mean we've done a number of videos with the 555 so you know how to make an A-stable vibrator and we've talked about the charge and discharge characteristics of a capacitor we've talked about a low pass filter and if you look here what do we got here a resistor going into a capacitor we've basically created another low pass filter which takes our hard and heavy on and off of the output of that 555 timer and turns it into something much smoother something that begins to approximate a sine wave what do you think about that I think it's pretty cool if you think it's pretty cool give me a thumbs up feel free to comment and share and don't forget to subscribe big thanks to all the patrons Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.